I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometric identities. Here is another excellent question. It is a very important identity from test point of view. We need to prove 1 minus sine x over 1 plus sine x is equal to tan square pi by 4 minus x by 2. You can always pause the video, solve this question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, when you look at it, you want from sine tan. That means we are looking for sine square over cos square x. That is one thing. Second thing which you notice is that the angle changed from x to x by 2. Right? So, so we need to understand double angle formulas. So, you know, cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1 and cos 2 theta can also be written as 1 minus 2 sine square theta, right? So this formula can actually convert x into x by 2 also, right? So that will be utilized. Now how do I get cos theta? We are working with sine. Well, uh, you also know that if I have sine theta, then I could always write this as cos of pi by 2 minus theta. Now, this concept helps us to link pi by 4, right? So, pi by 4 and the half angle of that gives us the clue that these are the formulas to be utilized for solving or proving this identity. Does it make sense? Now, this is critical thinking, and that is why I have categorized this as one of the most important identity to be proved, okay? So, let's begin with the left-hand side and utilize the formulas which we have given here. You can also pause the video at this stage and uh, solve the question or prove the identity. So the left side given to us is 1 minus sine x over 1 plus sine x. So now we know sine x can be written as cos pi by 2 minus x. Correct? So I write this as 1 minus Instead of sine x, I write this as cos of pi by 2 minus x. Similarly, in the denominator, I could write this as 1 plus cos of pi by 2 minus x. Now, to give it a shape of 2 theta, see what change I am bringing. I am just writing 2 here. Right. So, when I factor out 2, what happens? So, we get 1 minus cos of twice. So, if I factor out 2, I get pi by 4 here and x by 2. So, that gives you the same argument which you are looking for in the right-hand side. So, do you see how the right-hand side is deriving us to push in that particular direction? So, we have to take these hints while we solve some excellent questions based on trigonometry or any other uh, identity for that matter, right? So that is kind of important for us to understand. Okay, so now we have the cos angle formula, the double angle formula with us. Since we want tan square, we should be writing the numerator in terms of sine and the denominator in terms of cosine. And that also works well since we have 1 minus here. Do you see that? Okay. So what we'll do here is that we'll do 1 minus and instead of cos 2 theta, I'm going to write 1 minus 2 sine square theta in the numerator. So within the bracket, I'll write 1 minus 2 times sine square and theta is everything inside, which is pi by 4 minus x by 2. Is that clear? Similarly, in the denominator, I'm going to write 1 plus, but this time 2 cos square theta minus 1. So it is 2 cos square theta is something inside the bracket, which is pi by 4 minus x by 2 minus 1. Perfect. I should close the bracket here also. Okay. Now, when you open the bracket, 1 minus 1 is 0, and that negative makes this as positive. So we get 2 sine square pi by 4 minus x by 2 divided by, now here 1 and minus 1 also cancel, 2 cos square pi by 4 minus x by 2. 
Now you can cancel 2 and 2. So when you cancel these 2's, you're left with sine square of pi by 4 minus x by 2 and cos square pi by 4 minus x by 2. Well, that is indeed tan square, right? Sine over cos is tan. And we get pi by 4 minus x by 2, which is equal to right-hand side, right? So that is how you have to prove this particular identity. Now, there could be many other ways, but this is probably the shortest way to do it. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.